Hello friends and welcome back to Carrie Grace. Today I'm going to be taking you along with me as I get it all done. So first things first, we are starting with my morning routine. I'm not going to be showing you my entire morning routine or my entire weekly reset. I'm just going to be showing you some snippets because there are some other things that I'm really excited to show you in today's video. So I don't want this video to be just cleaning. So right here, I have started with my morning routine. The first thing I did this morning was I got up and put on my gym clothes. I got my bed made. I've got laundry going. And now I am emptying the dishwasher. There's a few dishes left in the sink. So I'm going to get those cleaned up real quick. And then I am going to call this done. And then I'm going to go to the gym. I have been going to the gym with my son in the mornings, not every day, but several days a week. And it's been going really well. And um, it's just been a really good addition to my morning routine. I'm out of reasons. I'm out of rhyme. But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs. We are back from the gym and I have my coffee and I'm sitting down to get my morning list ready. I'm just kind of making a list of some things that I need to do. I have checked a few emails. So I'm just getting a little bit of desk work done. And I wanna tell you straight just like it is. You're watching me like you want me, but you're still holding back, still holding back. Honestly, you're annoying me with the way that you keep playing. Show me your love like it is, like it is. And open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless. I've just finished up some work here at my desk and today is my weekly reset day which means I need to go get some cleaning done. I have decided that I'm not going to put my whole weekly reset in this video. I will kind of give you guys just some clips but there's a lot of other things that I want to talk about in this video so that's why I don't want to load it down with just the cleaning. So I am going to get my weekly reset done. I also need to catch up on quite a bit of laundry. I kind of didn't really stay on top of it last week. So today I'm going to try to catch that up. But I've got a lot of fun things to share with you guys and I'm super excited. So for now, I'm going to turn the camera off and I am going to get some cleaning done. But first, I'm going to fold this basket of towels and get them put away. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna show you guys a couple things that I'm going to add to my declutter list. I've got a declutter list in my planner. I try to get rid of 20 things a month. These are four towels that I'm gonna get rid of. We have accumulated quite a lot. And these are not my favorite, so I'm gonna get rid of those. I've got plenty of rag towels. So I don't need to keep them for that. And then this is a piece of artwork that used to be right up here. And I've just decided that I don't want it up there anymore. I never really wanted it up there. I just kind of hung on to it in case I wanted it for something, but I don't. So I'm going to go put these in the back of my car so that I can get these out of here. The first task on my weekly reset is to clean mirrors and glass. So you're going to see that I'm doing this here in my bedroom. I did do this task throughout my entire house. I just decided that for today's video, I was only going to film me doing a task in one room. That way you kind of could see the snippets. You could see the tasks that I'm doing, but I'm not going to take you through the whole house. Just know that the things that I'm doing, I am doing them through the whole house. So the next thing on my task list is to clean the bathrooms. And I have kind of changed this up a little bit. I used to just do one shower a week, but now I've kind of gotten in the habit of just doing a, just a good clean of the bathrooms every week. I know for a, 
a while when I was doing the fly lady system, I was doing like a daily swish and swipe. And it just kind of got to where that felt like it wasn't necessary. And so I've gone back to just doing a quick weekly clean in the bathrooms. And then especially here in the powder room, sometimes I need to touch it up throughout the week. But um, it's been working really well. And I find that um, it's okay to change things up. And like I said, this is working really well in this season. So that is what I'm doing. So I cleaned this bathroom and then I also cleaned our master bathroom. Now, as far as cleaning the shower, I do still clean the showers every other week. So I do our shower one week and then the boys bathroom or their shower the next week. The way I typically do the shower though for our shower is I spray it down with my cleaning solution first thing in the morning and I let it sit and then I clean it after I've done my weekly reset when I'm about to take a shower I strip down I get in there I clean the shower and then I take my shower and I find that that is just very efficient with my time and so I've really been enjoying doing that that way this faucet has been getting really bad water spots but it's nothing that my barkeeper's friend can't handle i'm out of patience i'm out of feels but i guess i'm waiting around for something real i'm going crazy like what's the deal because i want you to show me what you feel the next task on my list is to do a quick dust so I just grab my Swiffer and I just go through the whole house and give everything a good dust I still find that my favorite way to dust is with a Swiffer just because it is so easy and so fast and I don't know about you guys but I want my cleaning to go really really fast so that I can move on to other things that need to get done All right, so we are just going to keep marking stuff off. So I've done mirrors and glass. I've dusted. I did bathrooms. Emptied all trash. I still need to vacuum and mop. Sheets, they get done on different days. I do one sun's on Monday, one on Tuesday, and then hours on Thursday. Just kind of works really well for our schedule that way. So that will not get checked off today. So now I just need to tackle these fours. Now we are moving on to the next task, which is my floors. I know I just mentioned that, but I'm going to do a vacuum and then I'm going to mop again. I'm only showing me vacuuming and mopping in one room, but I did do this for the entire house. I do also have a robot vacuum and I try my best to run that vacuum every day. I don't usually run it on the weekends just because it annoys my family, but I try really hard to run it at least three to five days during the week. So I guess that's technically not every day, but I do find that it really, really helps. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless Let me introduce you to my new office. So you can see that things look a little bit different. If you're not recognizing this room, this is the room formerly known as our dining room. So I have a desk in here. I moved the bookcases in here. And now I have a place for all of my planner stuff, all of our homeschool stuff. 
everything is housed right here. And the reason this change came about, I'll show you kind of back here, back in this corner is not pretty. It's where I've got like tripods and cords and my lighting is usually back there. This tripod, it usually stays right there so that I can quickly film. But yeah, so this is my new office. There's a few things that I still wanna do in here. I still wanna get a rug. I want to replace this bookshelf that's like a wood color. I wanna get two more just like it that are white so that I have kind of more space for a printer, possibly another printer at some point, and then just kind of some counter space so that I kind of have room to set things down. It has just gotten to where I need an office. I need a place that I can plan planner videos that has decent lighting. I used to plan in this room when it was the dining room, but it was really hard to set up, but also really interfered with my son doing school. So my husband was extremely supportive and we decided to turn the den area into our dining room. So I'll show you guys that here in just a minute. But I wanted you guys to see this. The bookshelves are definitely my favorite part. I feel like they are so pretty because everything on there is mine. Something else that we're going to do, I don't know when we're gonna do it because it's gonna be quite the project, but we are eventually, we would like to put um, French doors in this opening that have glass panes. That way I'm not losing light, but it will help with just kind of some separation and sound and things like that. So it's just right here off of our living room. And because I tend to keep things relatively pretty, I don't mind my office being right here. Um, as a dining room, it was really, really small and I couldn't figure out how to make the other room work as an office. We tried, it really just kind of came down to lighting. But you guys, when I tell you that I'm so excited about this, I am so excited about this. Like I said, it's really just made it so much easier to film planning videos and take pictures and just have things set up so that I have light. And here is our new dining room. You can see it is not finished yet. There's still definitely things very much out of place, but this is what we are working with. So a couple of things to note. Like I said, I don't get enough natural light in here to use this as an office. We used to have a nice couch here with a coffee table. It was that trunk. And then we had a nice giant TV in here. And then the desk was right here where those chairs are. It was a great room. It was probably everyone's favorite room in our house. So it, it took a lot, like we really thought long and hard about this, but it's just one of those things that I really need an office now. And like I said, my family was super supportive. So what that means is that now we have a bigger dining room, which is really nice. I have always, always, always wanted a china cabinet. And I ended up finding this china cabinet on Facebook Marketplace for free. And I originally thought I was gonna paint it, and I still may, but I may not. Um, I don't know, I just, I know it's gonna be a big project. So if I do it, it probably won't be anytime soon. But it was really fun to pull out my husband's grandmother's dishes to put in here. I've had all of her serving pieces that I have kept through all of our moves. And then I also have my blue and white dishes in here kind of sprinkled in. And this has just been fun. I'm tripping over a laundry basket. And I'm super excited to decorate this for Christmas. Sorry about all of this. Sorry about all the glares, but we're going to do a couple things in here. This trunk is heavy, 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 and obviously it can't stay here. It's going to move to the landing upstairs. I'm going to have to empty it. It is full of pictures, and there's no way we can get it upstairs without emptying it. I'm really not excited to empty it, but it's just going to have to be done. Also, you'll see there's like a laundry basket and an empty bin and just a random lamp and a fan. And um, that is just because we're still trying to kind of 
get everything put where it needs to be put. We're still kind of just trying to figure out a few things. So I'm going to kind of work on that a little bit today. As I was pulling out all of these pictures, it took a lot of willpower to not sit here and just start thumbing through all the pictures and going down memory lane. You'll see there's a couple things I pick up and I show them real quickly to my son that is sitting at the table behind me working on his schoolwork. But I don't know about you, family pictures are just so special and sentimental. And I, um, I just enjoy looking at pictures. But like I said, I used my willpower. I stayed on task and I didn't get distracted. I just moved everything out so that I could move this trunk upstairs. I ended up not showing you the trunk upstairs. I really just forgot. But I thought that I would just go ahead and tell you that this trunk I ended up moving it to the landing upstairs. There's like a window up there and I just put it under the window and my boys are really enjoying having it for a place to just sit down and put shoes on. Um, it's a sentimental trunk. It's something that my dad made when he was in the Navy. And so when my mom passed away, it's something that I ended up getting. I also inherited all of the pictures that were in it. So that's been fun. But um, it was really nice to get this project done. All right, so the trunk is upstairs. I went ahead and moved the lamp in here. I'm gonna move that to my bedroom. I think I've got a place that can go. Those baskets and bins just need to go in the garage. Leo, his bed is gonna go back in the living room where it goes. And then the elephant in the room is really this fish. So, uh, we kind of, I don't know, we got to do something with this fish. And while it's not my first choice, I think we're going to have to put it on top of the china cabinet. So yeah, I think I'm going to get the step stool and put like a box or something up there and see if I can set it on there. The top of the china hutch is kind of like indented a little bit. Not indented, but like the top part is lower than the molding around the edges but the people that had the china cabinet before us they put a bunch of like cup hooks in there so like the screws stick up through there so i think i'm gonna do that and then i also need to find somewhere to put those shelves they go in the pantry but i don't need them right now so i think i'm just gonna see if i can get those to slide under my bed So definitely not my favorite. Would definitely look better if the top of that was covered in blue and white vases. But I love my husband. So for now, the fish goes there. All right, so you can see how the dining room turned out. Obviously it feels so much better now that we just have chairs and a little table there. That's where our router has to go. That TV is eventually gonna get moved, but for now it's just there till we have time to get it moved. And then we have lots of room around the table and the table is set up right now. My son is actually in here doing school. I just had him move for a minute so I could finish filming. But he sits in here now to do school, which is great because then I can film in my office and not disturb him. So yeah, it's not your typical dining room. But sometimes you just have to make your house work for you. All right, so now it's late in the afternoon. I'm gonna go scrub my shower real quick. Then I'm gonna take a shower and get dressed for the day. After a gym session and a cleaning session here at home, it always feels so good to get a quick shower, to put on some real clothes and a little bit of makeup, even if it's later in the day. All right, so right here, I'm just getting some things ready for dinner. We are having the Passionate Penny Pincher Cracker Barrel Chicken Tenderloin Sandwiches. So I needed to marinate that chicken and get it in the fridge so that dinner is ready to go. But this is one of our family's favorite meals from the meal from the freezer meal plan. 
All right, so I think I already checked everything off. So wash sheets, those will get done later this week. I did mirrors, glass, dust, vacuum, mop, clean bathrooms, empty all trash. So I am done with my weekly home reset. Now for weekly prep, this is kind of where I've been struggling a little bit. I've been planning for the week. I really haven't needed to clean out the fridge. We've kind of been um, doing this kind of day by day, really. I did meal plan. I haven't needed to do any grocery shopping yet. I haven't needed to do any meal prep. And then um, I really didn't do a quick tidy, but I did one this morning. So yeah. And then down here, this is kind of in flex for me right now. I'm definitely still doing my weekly reset on Mondays. Thursday, I'm not really sure what to call Thursday now. It's a day where most of the year I have something on the first and third Thursday of the week, I mean of the month, and then the second and fourth Thursday. Like my second one is going to be my weekly, not my weekly, my monthly cleaning day, and then the fourth one is gonna be a meal, not meal planning, homeschool lesson planning so I'm kind of not really sure what to call Thursdays if you guys have any ideas let me know um, Tuesday Wednesday those are really just kind of turning into like heavy-duty work days for me Friday is still pretty much a flex day and then Sunday is really like church and rest so I'll write that in so yeah that is how we are looking so far okay so that's pretty much all i'm going to get done today i still have a few loads of laundry that i'm working on but i have my main tasks for today done which is really really good monday is one of those days where i'm grungy most of the day we get up we go to the gym and then i come home and i do cleaning and i have found that my weekly reset does take me more than an hour now but it's because i am doing other things in between it always takes me longer number one when i have to film and number two a lot of times i am like fixing breakfast and lunch and doing homeschool and swapping laundry and um, answering emails and doing lots of different things so i found that getting it all done in one chunk doesn't necessarily work for me like it used to but it's okay i like i said i've i'm finding that just making sure that it gets done on monday kind of just in between all the other things is working good enough and so i'm happy with that thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with me today if you're new to my channel and not already subscribed please consider subscribing down below and i will see you guys soon